Everybody, welcome to another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We are going hard in the paint this week. Yes, we sure are. Let me tell you right now, I've done three, four episodes already this week. This is Thursday, August 19th, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We are live. Call your friends and family. Tell them, yo, come through, pull up, arielent.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, available on all podcast platforms. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Welcome to another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, baby. Woo! My name's Ariel. I have an amazing guest today, guys, straight from Kansas City, Missouri. Woo woo! He's British voice talent. I give you guys Peter. What's up, dude? My cheeky darlings, how are we? Dude, I am so happy you are on my show, dude. You sound like you're not only like you're a voice talent, but you sound like you're all broadcast all around the world, dude, with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the goal. If any of your listeners need any help, I'm right here. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to ask you questions of what you do, man. And oh, I'm so excited. Um, but before we do that, Peter, I just want to say thank you so much for welcoming you on the show. And we're going to jump into you in just a second. But before we do that, I'm going to give a quick shout out to all the listeners and supporters. Thank you so much for listening, liking, subscribing, sharing, following, commenting, all the above, guys. Just it truly means the world to me. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com, available on all podcast platforms, every podcast platform, guys. I have to remind myself, if you guys can go and rate me on the Apple or the Spotify platforms, I guess that's a huge big deal on the podcast. If you can rate me on number five, because you know I'm number one, baby, number one, come through. Uh, that'd be amazing. Thank you guys so much. All right, here we go. Great way to support me is by going to my website. I got my merch there. You'd think I'd be ready, but I was too busy getting uh, turned up. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We do it live. We do it live. Here we go. Boom. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Go to my shop, baby. You go to my shop. It's a great way to support me. Got the t-shirts almost sold out. Once they sell out, I'm getting new merch. I throw a sticker and pen. For free, run it up, run it up, arielent.com. Stop by my music. Here we go. Boom. There I am. Pretty boy, I'm stunting. I got the beautiful shoes right there. I had to tell the railroad people, be like, yo, stop for a second. I got to do a photo, show, photo shoot real quick. There we go. There I am. I got my two albums right there. Boom. Thank you guys so much. I do photography as well. Anything you need from portraits, weddings, quinceaneras, all the above, headshots, at family events, sports. I do it above. I'm a photographer. ArielEMT.com, guys. Thank you so much. I travel too. I travel around the world. If you want me to go to some spot, hit me up in the DMs, comment me, and I'll shoot you a price. Let's go. Come through. ArielEMT.com. Thank you guys so much. All right. Another great way to support me is going to my YouTube channel. Woo! You think I'd be ready, but here we go. We're going to do it live, baby. We're going to do it live. No, no, we're not. Here we go. Nope. No, we're not. All right. All right. All right. We're going to do it live. I do it live, baby, because um, I'm never prepared, I guess. Usually I am more prepared than this. Here Just got to go. keep it fluid, man. Got to keep it fluid. Boom. There we go. Peter knows. I got it right here, guys. Don't worry. I got it right here at your channel. You know, I got to bring up my channel. Go to my videos. All right, here we go. I'll share the screen now. I'm ready. Boom. There Ariel, it is. Video, ArielENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Type that in the search engine and YouTube. I'll come up. Episode 95 just dropped three days ago. We got 26 views. I dropped episode 89 one month ago. We got 1.1K views on that one already. I repeat, 1.1K views on the YouTube channel, guys. We got 157 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 200. Trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of this month, August, guys. Let's go. Let's run it up. Run it up. Take the link and share it with all your friends and family in your phone book. Get the link. Share it with all your friends and family. All right, guys. Thank you so much. That's my YouTube channel. Much love. All right. Shout out to everybody that's giving me donations last week. Here we go. The donations in the down below. Apple, Venmo, PayPal, all the above. The links are down below. Here we go. I want to give a quick shout out to Marvelous, uh, Twisted Grape Radio, Nick Fiore, Carolyn, and D Money. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Truly means the world to me. All your guys' comments, feedbacks, emails. Uh, I know. Uh, I've been. I know. There's like six days I haven't responded to some comments. 
Like, dude, I will respond back. I promise, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. It's just been so busy over here. Arielent.com, guys. Thank you for all the shout outs, donations, everything. God bless. I love you guys so much. Um, quick prayer. Here we go. I'm trying to rush through here because I want to get Peter on here because, yo, I've never had a voiceover talent guy on my show. <laughs> hey, no rush. Always time for a prayer. Yo, always time for a prayer. That's great, man. I love that. I love that attitude. Here we go, guys. You guys hear that? Let's all grab uh, all the same frequency right now. Here we go. Angel of God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here ever this day and night. Be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, for having Peter on the show. Thank you, God, for having this technology for us to uh, collab. Thank you, God, for our perfect health, our the food that you provide us, everything you provide us, God, our perfect health, uh, inside and out our bodies, uh, our families, uh, a roof over our head, uh, just everything that we have, God. Thank you so much that we have in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what Amen. I say. That's what suck. Peter, tell us who you are, bro, what you do, and where we can follow you, man. All right. So, like you heard, my name is Peter. I am from London, just south of it, actually. Damn. Little town just south of it. Currently loving life in Kansas City, Missouri been all over the united states started out living in utah moved my way out to virginia and now i'm currently rocking the roll rocking the world here <laughs> so boom that's awesome peter Tell who is that lad who right? is that boy <laughs> who is that lad with the bow tie looking at the sunset over there <laughs> dude so you got 12 years of training and experience on stage and behind the mat the mic. Yes, sir. He started out on stage as a theater boy, done all sorts of things, all the crazy theater, the young audiences, Shakespearean, because I'm a Brit. Of course I have <laughs> everything ranging from stuff for the adults to stuff to the kiddos. And right now I'm putting my voice towards audio books, e-learnings, radio ads, and anything that I can get my grubby little mitts on because I'm the boy that never grew up and I want everybody to know that. <laughs> same here man that's how i feel too i'm a i don't feel like i ever grow up dude i'm having the time of my life it's optional i mean you can get older but growing up nah yeah i don't want to grow up i'm gonna just like just have fun do the things i want to do that are so much fun to me that's it that's it bro so tell me uh tell tell us like when did when did you start doing this when did you start taking it serious so I've been in the voiceover industry for about three years now, uh, probably closer to four, actually, between three and four, let's say that. And I had been, like I said, loving life in the theatrical world beforehand, about 12 years of, of training and experience. And when my wife and I discovered that, hey, we were about to have children, I decided, you know, the starving life of an actor, probably not the best way to raise children on. <laughs> So I stepped away from that scene for a little while and mm. I, I worked in the corporate wo corporate world, starting in retail and doing all sorts of crazy stuff with that until eventually I just met someone else who does uh, e-learnings for a profession, guy by the name of Tom Nelson. Uh, awesome dude, works for, uh, or co currently actually he runs a company called Perfect 10 Audio and he and I partnered up for a little bit of time and now I am fluttering my own little wings. That's great to hear. What's his name again? Tom Nelson. Tom Nelson. Shout out to Tom Nelson, dude. Perfect 10 audio. The boy is a, he's a, he's a legend. Absolute, absolute legend. Awesome. Can't, Tom, shout out. I hope you're listening. That's awesome, dude. I want to check out your website. Uh, I want to give everybody a great way that they can support you. That's going to truebritaudio.com. That's T-R-U-E-B-R-I-T-A-U-D-I-O.com. T R U E B R I T A U D I O dot com. Let's go, guys. Uh, I'm trying to bring up his LinkedIn, but uh, can I get there through here or, or is that something else? I think that's something else, right? That's, yeah, that's something else. That'll just email me directly. But no, you can yeah. find me through LinkedIn just with my, uh, just with my name, Peter Leppard, L E P P A R D, and you'll find me right there. That's beautiful. That's Peter. Leppard, that's P-E-T-E-R-L-E-P-P-A-R-D on the LinkedIn, guys. Let's go, let's go. My MacBook don't like uh, LinkedIn for some reason, so here we go. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep <laughs> moving on, dude. So tell us, why do you like your voiceover so much? What is it about your voice that you like that you figured out that's your purpose? Well, it's it's a funny thing. 
when you're in when you're on stage or behind yep. a camera yep you get hired on what it is you look like do you look like what it is the character needs to be you know the director will take a look at you and go hmm not so much or yes or however it goes and it's based on my, along how, how much you, you you look like them when it comes to voiceover you can be just about anybody it's just however far your imagination and your training and talent can get you so wow. i've i've done things where i sound like you know ranging from a little church mouse to i i don't even know that some disembodied voice from the clouds <laughs> You can literally be anybody when you're, when you're acting in voice. And it is such a, mm, it is such an adventure to dive into a world that's been created by an author, been created by a, a, a director and say to others, Hey, come on in. Let's have some playtime. That's what I'm talking about, man. Tell me, um, who's your voiceover talent influences? Who? <sighs> That's a that's a tough question because, like I said, I'm the boy that never grew up. So I draw things from all the cartoon characters of old. I mean, you're talking like Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime, Jim Cummings as Winnie the Pooh. You've got okay. Rob Paulson. Yeah, I mean, there are so many names. Very Simon cool, Templeman. Man. Yeah. Claudia Black. So many brilliant men, women, and 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 and, and people who are just absolute masters of the imagination. Very nice, dude. Um, do you, for your voiceover, is it something that you do take classes to get better? Do you learn from other mentors? That's a great question. And the, the, the short answer is, yeah. And yep. the long answer is, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Because just like any other talent, like with your music, you practice yep. so that you can get better, so that you yep. can evolve. Yep. Those who are part of the fitness world, they work Ooh. out their muscles so that they, they can get, you know, get swole, get big. And if you want to work your voice and you want to twist it and change it and bring words from a page to life. Oh, yeah. You, you work at it every day. I love it. I, I agree. I didn't know you like to work out, dude. Well, I, I do. Problem is, is, I don't get to it anywhere near enough as I should. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what's up. I, same here. I love to work out too, but not as much as I should. Yep, yep. I, I think I like food probably as much, if not a little bit more than. You're telling me I, I ate here. Barely. <laughs> dude, I ate before I came here. There you go. There it is. <laughs> that's how it goes, man. Dude, what have you learned so far from your talent voice journey? <sighs> simple principle really is that it is a journey and journeys take time yeah it's it, if there is one thing that is uh important to remember it's that work will win while wishy-washy wishing won't right so you're saying put in the action that's it that's it put in the effort to gain the reward and you know what if you're in it for the money quite frankly speaking you're in it for the wrong reason do it because you love it and if you start getting paid for it then that is that that that's a blessing you know it is it is and it can sometimes become a distraction too if you're not careful yep cuz once i know people that like start getting paid for something that they love doing um they start focusing more on the money mm -hmm. than having fun which which originally was the first purpose of it but right. it is right. yeah it, it's crazy. It is what it is. Um, but uh, dude, I like, I like what you're saying. Journey <laughs> equals time. You got to be patient uh, while you're working your crap. It's not going to happen overnight. And same That's as what I, and what I agree is like, yeah, you, you can win at a lottery ticket. You can win a lottery ticket, you know, here and one person wins a lottery ticket here and there out of nowhere, out of the blue. But then, you know, um, that's how it is, man. Some people get lucky, but that's it. Uh, that's it. You got to work hard. You have no to wishy no wishy washy. But my boy Peter said, "Yo, dude, tell me about Kansas City. What's it like over there? What's you? What do you like to do out there? I know there's the Kansas City Chiefs. There are the Chiefs. So the sports fans, you've got the Chiefs, you've got the Royals. So you've got two two big old sports there for those who like it. You've got Sporting KC for the." Uh, football uh, soccer fans forgot which country i'm in at the moment 
Yeah, so do you those, ever... the, those are like a little bit of football. Yeah. You know, where yeah. it's a ball and you kick it with your foot. Um, <laughs> do you ever go back in London? I've been able to go back once, uh, once or twice. Um, it's, you know, ticket prices to get on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Know? yeah. So as, as often as I can, and it's not been as often as I'd like, I'll say that much. I bet, bro. So do you have family out here? I have. So it's myself, my wife, and our four beautiful children. Wow. And then okay. obviously my in-laws, they live out here in, in, in Missouri, uh, most of them. And then we've got, so on my side, I have a sister who's living in Utah. Okay. I have a younger brother who's living in uh, North Carolina, who's wow. absolutely smashing it out in North Carolina. What's out there? Um, uh, say again? What's he doing out there? uh college he's finishing Word. up his master's and his doctorate degree so the boy is the boy is a he's a smart lad yeah he's sounds like cookie. it yeah shout out yeah my sister's currently rocking school at uh, in utah and she's absolutely killing it as a mother of three kids herself nice man then i've got my my older brother back in england who is oh man the dude can talk to computers like you and i are talking to each other right now he's oh a, my goodness he's a sharp cookie <laughs> oh that's cool man does is that what he's doing as a as a as a profession is something with computers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wow that's what i'm talking about uh i just buy a computer and that's all i know my my extent of talking to computers is threatening them when they don't work too well <laughs> <laughs> dude so the voiceovers um tell me what's like the most happiest accomplishment with your voiceovers I'm going to, I'm going to be real simple here. I, yeah, man. I, you know, a lot of people will say, Hey, I've done this and Hey, I've done that. And I've recorded yeah. this, that, and the other, my favorite thing to do is to read my kids bedtime stories. Cause you will never get, you will never get a more honest reaction than a kid who is either loving what you're doing or needing you to change it. <laughs> okay. So reading your kids bedtime stories. That's it. Yep. But your bedtime stories. Well, I'll let them pick. Okay. I'll let them pick. They'll bring me a book and buckle up, baby. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That's really cool, man. I didn't expect yeah. that answer. That's really cool. Shout out to your family. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Kids are dope, dude. Let me tell you, I got a niece and nephew and they just, they make me so they're They're just so happy, dude. They, oh, they'll keep you busy. They'll keep you busy. Oh Yeah. I'm like, no, you go, you guys go for it. You go jump on the tramp. I'm out. I'm out right now. I'm <laughs> kicking it right now. We and just that's why they'll say, now hang on. You are the tramp. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, we just got done playing catch. Let's let's kick it for a second. Let me chill. Yeah. Then yep. we'll jump on the tramp. But no, they're like like lightning. They're just like mm -hmm. so fast. Yeah, they'll bounce. Like I said, they'll 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 treat you as the tramp. They'll just bounce on your yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> they'll get you in the they'll get you in the tramp and then start jumping on you. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I don't yeah. fall for that anymore, dude. I, I don't fall for that anymore, dude. So tell me, um, what advice for do you have for upcoming voice talents like yourself? If somebody was going to start off right now, how would they get in the game like you? That's a that's that's uh, I mean, don't be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. Just don't be afraid of it. Don't expect immediate results, mm -hmm. but don't be afraid to just jump in. You know. Like you and I said before, you got to do it for the love. But if you love it, then jump in, take a little bites at a time, you know, invest in the, the coaching, make sure that you network to a good bunch of folks who will help you out. The voiceover community is one of, if not the most helpful and caring communities I think are out there. How do we get into a voiceover community? You honestly just start networking. Just reach out to folks. Hey, I'm, that is exactly what I did. Yeah. Hey, I'm a new voice to the industry. I just started doing this. Can we connect? Oh. And I, I've had, I've had people who are as small time as me, as small time as I am to folks who do it for a living, who do it for all the big networks, who are absolutely smashing their success with characters, books, commercials, radio, yada, yada, yada. No matter what end of the spectrum they're at, you'll get folks that are like, yeah, I'd love to help you out. 
Dude, and so to get, when you're networking and putting your name out, is that something you're doing in like social media platforms or are you doing it, finding people's emails? So I'm, I'm, I'm so uh, I'm getting tongue tied here. So I am on LinkedIn at the moment. Cool. Um, I'm yet to brave the world of Twitter and Instagram, but mm -hmm. that'll happen. Uh -huh. But it's literally a case of LinkedIn has that fantastic thing where it's like, hey, you're a voiceover actor or you're a voice artist. You're yeah. a, this, that and the other. Yeah. And it'll say, here are some others in your industry. Yeah. Don't be afraid to just click, click on the invite to connect and just say, hey, here's why I want to connect. Yeah. And that's been working out for you. And I, yeah. 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 There are so many people that are just fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. That's beautiful, dude. That's where I found you, LinkedIn. That's true. That's true. You and I found each other through LinkedIn. And great thing about LinkedIn, especially if you're a voiceover artist, yeah. it lets you message with your voice. So guess what? They're going to know what you sound like. Yeah, right there <laughs> and then. Right you, there and then. Hear you, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I saw, I saw your profile on LinkedIn. I'm like, get this guy on my show. Get this guy on my show. I need him. <laughs> I need to get his voice on my show. So, dude, thank you That's for coming it. on. Let's see here, dude. I got a couple more questions here. I know you're a busy guy. I Don't know you, you worry about it. Fire away, boss. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. Um, drink. Remember, folks, stay hydrated. Stay, oh, absolutely. That's what I'm doing. Here we go. Man, this is great. This is great. Um, what advice would you have for anyone right now going through a tough time because you seem like you got your head on straight you you seem very positive you seem upbeat how do we get to that level dude come through you see this is the kind of question where everybody gets real serious everybody yeah. gets, they'll, they'll get nice and close and they'll say hey here's how it is <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I'm, I'm i'm gonna go ahead and be honest yeah man life can be difficult Life can be so hard. We're in, we're in some pretty crazy times right now. I mean, we're talking a pandemic. We're talking a world of war, famine, political upheaval. It's, it's crazy. It is. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and probably go against the grain when I say it's okay to sometimes not feel okay. You know, don't, don't shame yourself if things get you down. There's a lot of people that will tell you, hey, choose to be happy. Choose to not let it get to you. And I'd say that's true to an extent. But that's not to say that you're not allowed to feel a punch. Right. There's a, there's a, a I'll ramble on for a little bit more if I may. Please. There's a poem, which is old favorite of mine. It's okay. been a favorite of mine for 10, 15 years now. Cool. And it goes like this. One ship drives east while another drives west on the self-same winds that blow. It's the set of the sails, that, and not the gales, that tell which way to go. It continues on to where it says, Like the winds of the sea are the waves of fate as we voyage on through life. Mm -hmm. It's the set of your soul yeah. which decides the goal and not the calm or the strife. I get it. It's... We're in, we're in some tumultuous waters. I mean, this day and age, you turn on the news and it can get to anybody. It's okay that you're in the storm. It's okay if you feel windswept. It's okay if you're wet in the rain. Stick to your goals. Set that sail. Set your course. Stick to it. Things are going to work out, I promise. And if it's hard to go it alone, don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah. That's incredible. That was a really long answer to a pretty simple question. <laughs> I love that. No, that's what I wanted to hear, man. I love that, dude. And if you need help, get it, you know, don't be afraid to ask. That's it. Yep. Oh, man, dude. Drop some knowledge right there. <laughs> dude, Peter, um, I bet you have like, you seem like a good dude that has a lot of patience, man. When I was, well, I'll, I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. Not as much as I should, uh -huh. but I've learned to rein, rein things in a bit more. I just want people to be happy. Right. That's what I want in life. I want people to smile. Yeah, man. 
I am I'm, I'm on that same boat with you, dude. <laughs> and I love that poem, that poem, that little quote you said totally makes sense. And for, and for me, it's, uh, it's like cho- we have choices in life and we can do things that make us happy. We can do things that don't make us happy. We can go with the positive or negative. It's, it's all a choice. Come yeah. on, it's all a choice. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm making a choice to just like, for me, I just, I make a choice to eat healthy. I make a choice to go do my purpose and passions in life. I make a choice to um, just collab and try to like progress in my life. This is crazy, man. I can you believe it? I never like it, I always believed it. I always thought I could do it, but I like now it's happening. Like I'm getting people from all around the world on this podcast, dude. Yesterday, yeah, bravo. Dude, bro, thank you so much. No, thank you so much, dude. Um, yesterday I had a dude from Nigeria, dude from Lagos, Nigeria, on the show, man. That's He's awesome. Rap- he was a rap artist all the way from out there, dude. He was in his, it was just turned up, you know. It's just like you know, you set your goals, like you said, and next thing you know, you're just, it's just a beautiful thing how uh, you just stay focused. You do the things that, that make you happy. And just, and for me, I just be grateful and, uh, and just stay patient and, mm. and things just come. I know sometimes I can get out of hand. I mean, not patient and stuff, but that's what really it is. Like you said, man, you nailed it. Tell me about kansas city what do you do out there for fun well like like we said before you've got you've got some sports yeah so you, you know, go to those the, those who want to do this the sports do you go do you go to the games like the i've i've not um yeah. and just well actually no let me let me back that up a little bit i've been to one game at, at uh kaufman stadium for the royals okay. yeah so that's I've, been, I've been to a baseball game my first ever baseball game and okay. uh, that was that was good fun took the kids to that bro when did you move here in the state oh. Five years ago now. Word. So wait. So moved to Missouri five years ago now. Yep. I've been in. I've been in the states since 2012. So about. Oh, okay. Years. Okay. Dang, dude, you're still new. <laughs> Feels that way sometimes. Feels oh, that way. That's cool, dude. I feel like you live in Colorado for some reason. <laughs> well, I mean. I've been through it, so <laughs> That's not great. quite the same. I think I probably waved at you as I went past. I, you know? I, do. I, I could swear we crossed paths one day. You never know. You never uh-huh. know. It's a small world. That's so funny. Dude, I want to say thank you so much for coming on my show. Is there anything else you want to talk about or promote, man? Well, big shout out to you, Mr. Castillo. You've been loving what you've been doing been keeping up with your podcast you've been doing you've been doing a great job i love the positivity i love the energy keep it up and hey huge shout out to everyone who's listening you know what ladies and gentlemen and all other configurations of being keep it going keep it going bro said earlier don't be afraid don't be afraid to feel it but don't be afraid jeez that's right don't be afraid to feel it Oh man, don't be afraid to feel it. Don't be afraid to feel it. Don't be free, afraid to feel it. That's how we do, guys. We got Peter Lepard on the show. He came and kicked some ass. Man, I don't want you to go, man. You're like the coolest dude. <laughs> Back at you, my boy. Back at you. Bro, I what made me this whole part this whole episode was so cool. But the main thing that sticks to me the most. Is that how you got your connections in LinkedIn, man? That makes me so happy. You have no idea. The social media platforms does so many great things. If we just, like, if you just, just focus what you want to do and just what, dude, you have no idea, man. How many people I've got on the show and like people that I've, I never thought I'd get on the show that I got on the show, man. And it's just like, um, you just put your mind to it, believe in yourself and yep just a beautiful thing to see you doing what you're doing and uh, how you said you, you've been getting your connections, dude. I love that. Well, Hey, I mean, we've got like, like I said before, we've got a scary world, but at the same time, it is a world of opportunity. Absolutely. You just gotta, just gotta look for it. 
grab it and hold on tight. Bro, I can't wait to hear more voiceovers from you. Uh, shout out to you and your family. Uh, nothing but success and all your dreams and wishes come true, man. Straight up. I got you for life. And when you got your Instagram and your YouTube or whatever, dude, let me know. I'll be your first I'll follow. It out there. I'll be you your first follow. It. I'll be your first subscriber, bro. Yes. <laughs> That's what I guarantee it for life, dude. I got you for life. Until then, we'll stay linked. We'll stay linked in. Definitely. All right. All right. DJ, get that track ready. Uh, Peter, can you tell us one more time where we can follow you and support you at? You can find me on LinkedIn, just Peter Leppard on LinkedIn. You can find my website at truebritaudio.com. True Brit, just like you're saying true grit, but it's a true Brit audio.com. I it. am your voice monkey from Britain, your royal sound from a steward of the crown. Boom. I love that, Peter. Dude, next time we get you on the show, I want to talk about Britain and all that place where you come Let's from. Let's do it. London, London and all that. I want to talk about that next time with you. Sounds like a plan to me, man. Oh, that's amazing, bro. We'll catch up in a few months, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielENT.com, TrueBritAudio.com. We got Peter Lepard on the LinkedIn. Go find him. Run him up, guys. Follow, like, share, comment. Like, share, follow, comment. Let's go. Subscribe. You just got 2,000 new followers, bro. Let's go. Peter in the house. All right. ArielENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. DJ, get that track ready. Great way to uh, support me is buying the merch, guys. The donations, the links are down below. ArielENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am so happy. I am filled. I am complete. That's what we do. I'm turned up. I'm about to have some dinner. Peter, have fun in Missouri, Kansas City. Thank you so much. I am out. DJ, drop the track. Say hello. Woo! I feel the shit goes hard in the paint, bro. That's what we Liked do. it. Yep. Loved it. We did. We gotta hit that follow back, baby. Better, Better do it. Now. Run it up. Shout out. PTR, 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 PTR. Catch as fuck. Here we go. Oh, Boom. Yeah, that's our, that's our track. Shout out to our boy, Q, T, Dub, who did the intro song. Homeboy did the intro song. He's like, yo, bro, have this song. It reminds me of you. I wrote it for you. Shout out to my boy, Q, T, Dub. Guys, let's give a round of applause to our guest today, Peter Lepard. Go follow him on the LinkedIn. Go support him on his website, okay? He's the British voice talent Woo! in the arena guys let's run it up i'm available on spotify apple iheart let's go available on all podcast platforms ariel ent.com i'm having the time of my life make sure you guys take care of the animals take care of yourself self-love is the best love let's go let's go let's go let's go ariel ent.com ariel's entertainment podcast i'm turned up you see the strobe lights here i got the hat backwards i got the beautiful glasses on shout out to my boy peter let's go peter Peter in the house, yeah. baby. Let's go. Girlent.com. Uh -huh. I'm almost out of here. Actually, I am out of here. I am out of here. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm out. Woo!